Hello, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Carly and this is my space where I talk about all of my projects that I'm currently working on. Most of the time it is knitting, but today I wanted to talk about all of my 2023 sewing plans. <laughs> the tops category. Now this is one that's been on my list of items to sew for about a year and a half I believe. I found it on Pinterest quite some time ago and that is the Summerfield Coat by Albi Textiles. <laughs> wanted a piece like this in my wardrobe for quite some time. I love that you can pair it with pants, long skirts, dresses, shorts even, basically anything and that it is so versatile to wear. You can wear it throughout any season and dress it up or down because one of my goals this year is to try and make a more of a capsule style wardrobe with pieces that can transition easily between different types of activities, different um, seasons, and different locations, because I really want to just limit the amount of clothes that I have in my closet. Now for this piece, I really love the fabric and the pattern that they used in the picture up here, and I love the color as well. This one does have some horizontal striping, which I love. Um, I think I too, well, I can see myself sewing up a couple of these because it'd be really nice to have a plain one, just a plain linen one, and then also have one with a pattern on it too, I think would be fun. But I think this one will be an item that I sew up pretty quickly. <laughs> Our next one is the Augustina Boxy Top by The Fabric Store. So you'll notice today that I have a lot of patterns from The Fabric Store on here. And the reason why is they have an amazing selection of free patterns. So if you're looking for some inspiration or some ideas um, for free patterns, The Fabric Store is a great resource. I've seen a couple of sewers on YouTube sew this top up and I cannot remember which ones. But uh, everyone that I saw did an amazing job and it also looked like a really versatile piece and a good item to have if you're wanting more of a capsule wardrobe, simply because you can like dress it up or down and wear it with a lot of items. So I actually bought some fabric for this, specifically for this top and it is this um, gorgeous like caramely camel I believe it's 100% linen, if not it's a linen cotton blend, and I got that at Rick Racks Textiles if you're in Calgary, Alberta area. So I imagine sewing this up with this, and I chose this color too because again it's just pretty neutral, it can go with a lot of things, especially if I'm trying to achieve that capsule wardrobe. I do love color and playing around with color, but I do want to incorporate more neutral colors and tones into my wardrobe just so it can be a little more cohesive with different pieces. Now for the next category, we'll look at different bottoms. And the first one here is the Ida skirt by The Fabric Store. Who doesn't love a good wrap skirt? It just hugs all the right spots and so easy to wear and flattering and beautiful in every way. I love this skirt. I also want to knit, or not knit, to sew this up with a linen or a cotton just because it would be really breezy for summertime. I imagine with this skirt it'd be really easy to modify if you wanted a little sh um, shorter or longer. I actually have very similar fabric to the one pictured here. This is 100% linen. It's a little wrinkly, but I think I will sew this Ida skirt up using this. Now this is actually a pillowcase, so I wouldn't have enough fabric 
just using this pillowcase to sew this skirt up. But I do have an entire like bed sheet and fitted sheet of this same fabric that I'm going to repurpose into clothing. So I think that will make a great Ida skirt. Next up, we have the Cass Coolets by The Fabric Store. I never know how to say that word. It always, like, it does not roll off the tongue easily for me. But this is another piece that I want to sew in linen. And if I have extra, I want to sew up a pair in this gray linen fabric. Just again, it's another really neutral pair of pants that would be perfect in a capsule wardrobe to pair with other things. But I also bought this. Um, it's a rayon slash linen blend from Rick Rack Textiles in Calgary. And I bought this specifically for these, um, these cast coolets by the fabric store. And I also thought that this looks really good. So the boxy top and then the pants and it would just be, I think a really nice, like earthy combination and a perfect summer wardrobe. I also really like these pants because they have the elasticated waist and it looks like um, it's sewn down as well. So I haven't sewn up pants since I was about 10 and when I did that they were like hot pink tie-dye high-waisted cotton pants <laughs> that were not in style at the time but now I feel like they'd be really cool. And um, But yeah with the elastic waist it just makes it a lot easier uh, I think for sizing too because doing pants without any elastic is pretty intimidating to me, so I think this would be a good start. Next up, we've got another pair of pants, the Pietra Pants by The Closet Case. So these ones are similar to the last ones. Um, I'm not sure if they have an elasticated waist or not, but what really drew me to this pattern was the vertical seaming down the front of each pant leg and also they've got really beautiful like diagonal pockets at the front. Uh, so another great pair of pants to have in the wardrobe and they look like the great fit because for me I personally hate having denim or any like jean fabric against my legs. I hate tight pants. I love loose breathable flowy fabric so I think these two pants would be really good for me the only thing is that I do want a capsule wardrobe so I can wear items between each season and I could wear these pants in all seasons except for winter I think I could maybe try and put tights underneath them and see how that goes and have like high socks maybe make the pants a little bit longer but who knows, they could be quite cold still. As we all know, like linen is quite um, a cool fabric and good for summer mostly. So if anybody has any tips out there for having some flowy, loose fitting pants for winter that still keep you warm, please let me know. dresses category. The first one here is the Luana apron dress by the fabric store. Again, this one caught my eye right away. Um, it is also free, which is crazy. It just looks so adorable and cute because you could pair this with like a little shirt underneath or a mock neck with long sleeves. And even on its own, it's so adorable. And I was also wondering about this dress to make it extremely fitting for a capsule wardrobe. If you could modify it and making it the top separate from the bottom, so having a top and a skirt, but also maybe like buttons or like a hidden zipper there, so you could attach it for a dress. And maybe you wouldn't even need to attach it and just like pair them together. So you'd basically get three items in one, like your top, your skirt, and then a dress all together. I would really love to try that. I haven't looked at the pattern in detail, so I don't know how achievable that would be, but it could be a good challenge and something fun to try, I think. And 
And then the Atlas dress we have here by Mason. So another wrap and wraps are just my favorite thing to wear because they're so flattering. They just hug you in all the right places. I have not made a wrap dress before, so I would love to try this. And I do have fabric in mind for it. And I don't, well, I think it would look pretty cool, but we will see. I actually got this fabric for free at a garage sale. I got a whole garbage bag full of fabric that's all cotton that was either like old tablecloths, sheets, or um, curtains. So I've got this one here. It's got a bit of paint here at the back, but this is the only damaged piece and it's on the edge, like not in the middle at all. So easy to cut around and there's plenty of fabric here. So I do think I would have enough to make this wrap dress. Um, who knows, I hope the pattern isn't too busy for this type of dress. But I just thought it was so fun and you don't really, you know, you don't see these patterns or these colors really in stores anyway, so it'd be super unique. And this, other than whatever the pattern costs for this, this dress would be completely free. And I really love repurposing fabric into clothes. It just makes me feel good knowing that they're not going to the landfill and they're getting another life and um, that I've created them into something new and something special for myself. The last category we have here is for the home. So I recently moved into a new place a couple of months ago and I'm just looking to kind of make my place feel a little more homey and a little more me. So the first one here, it isn't technically decor, but it, I think it would look really pretty hanging in the bathroom, and that is the Milos Linen Bath Towel by The Fabric Store. I'm assuming it would be an extremely easy project. It's basically just a rectangle of linen, and it's got some fringe on the ends, but I thought it would give it a really nice like spa-like feel in the bathroom rather than just your regular towels that hang up. And also, it would be great to bring to like the beach or the river or whatever, because it'd be so lightweight and comfortable. Next, we have the Faye Linen Duster by The Fabric Store. So I've been wanting to sew up a robe for quite some time now. I just never like the, like the fleece or the terry cloth or anything that normally robes come in so a linen one would be absolutely perfect i also thought these would make great gifts uh, for next christmas like for my mom and sister so i would do this in either linen or like a really nice plush waffle fabric i think would be beautiful for these and also these hanging up in the bathroom or in the back of a door would give your house like such a spa-like feel and make you feel really like cozy and luxurious, I think. <music> Lastly, we have the Andrea Linen Lap Throw by The Fabric Store. So another super simple project here basically just a big rectail, rectangle uh, piece of linen fabric with some fringe on the ends and I would love to have a couple of these to throw over my couch or at the foot of our bed so also these are just so like thin and lightweight that you could make a couple in different colorways and like store them away in your linen closet you know and have um, different colors for different seasons and yeah, I'm dying to just spruce up our place with some different colors for our couch and for our bed, so I think this would be a great option. And I would like to end this video with some 2023 sewing plans. So, or, oh, no, not sewing plans, we just covered that, but the sewing goals for the year. 
So last year I did get a lot of sewing done that I was really proud of, but I think I could have been more proud of now that I look back and see them. When I sewed last year, I felt really rushed for whatever reason. There wasn't a timeline on anything, but every time I started something, I just wanted to get it done. And then that would force me to kind of rush through a lot of little details and make my work look sloppier than it should have looked. So my first finished sewing item of the year, I actually finished over about a week's time. And it is a top that could have been sewn in an afternoon easily. However, it worked really well for me because I only allotted about 30 minutes per day to work on it. And I just really took my time and I found that it made the process so much more enjoyable for myself. And it forced me to slow down and just take in the craft itself and what I really love about it not put a timeline on it and just really pay attention to each tiny detail. So with my finished project, I was so proud of what I made and it felt really professional and almost store bought to me because I took that extra time to just slow down and take all of the pressure off of myself. Another thing is that sewing is a little bit difficult for me. Um, I do have this thing called new daily persistent headache. So after I got COVID last year in April, since then I've had a constant migraine. So it's going on around like eight months or so. And just the way my body's posi positioned while sewing, it can be like quite taxing for me and not enjoyable. So I found doing those little short spurts of sewing made it way more manageable for myself. So I wanna keep that in mind going forward. And another goal, and that's part of that, is just not comparing my progress to other people's progress that I see on YouTube or Instagram and other sewers and knitters. Um, just because, you know, I got to be gentle on myself and everybody has to be gentle on themselves as well. And just knowing that like your own progress is, is perfect. And that's pretty much all you can do given with what you've got at the moment. So I really have to remind myself that not only with sewing, but for knitting as well. And knitting too has been an amazing thing for me because it's a little bit more uh, enjoyable for me to do because I can do it on the couch or in bed and it's something to keep my hands busy so I don't go totally crazy by not doing too much. Um, sometimes it does kind of make it difficult because of the tension and the soreness that kind of like trails down your neck and shoulders and arms from the headaches, but I find that it's almost worth doing it just so I don't go um, too stir crazy. But I, I think that's my main goal for this year for sewing is to just, you know, do what I can, enjoy each moment of it. And if I'm not enjoying it, then just stop and pick it up another day and know that there aren't any deadlines for myself. Um, I think that's all for today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you stuck around and... Um, yeah, I hope my next video is going to be about some of my knitting progress. I've actually done quite a bit. Um, oh, this is a new finished object that I'll talk about in the next video. And this is the Sophie Shawl by T Petite Knit. So I, yeah, I'll talk about a few finished objects next time. Some of my new work in progresses that haven't been shown yet. And I also want to do a, like a little stash bust video soon because I have plans for all of my stash yarn that I'm pretty excited about, I think, because I think it's pretty doable for me to get rid of that stash yarn this year, which will be really satisfying, I think. Anyways, I'll end it there for today. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel so you can see um, all of my future videos about creating and making, sewing, knitting, stained glass, all that fun stuff. Thanks again. Bye. <laughs>